Hey, 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 guys, this is Hawkeye, and I am here with a game called Wretched Depths. Now, this is a free game on Steam, and from what I understand, that there's a little bit of maybe survival horror story into this. I'm not sure exactly what all it's about, but it is free. Like I said, you can check it out, and we'll see what the heck this is about. I think we got some options here. I think we're going to head and set up the full screen. Brightness is all the way up. I set my screen size. I think I'm not sure what all this is about, but I think we got it the way we need to have it. Let's go ahead and jump in. Let's see, so these are safe game slots. It says select a difficulty. We got the story. Experience the story of Russia Depths with a decreased difficulty. And we'll play the game at the original intended difficulty. Let's go ahead with normal. All right, we're in our car. I don't know. Let's see, I've got my dad's old gear ready. That should be enough to get a start. Get started. Okay. Yeah, I can't interact yet, so I don't quite know why I came out here. I guess I just couldn't ignore something like this. Like what? Thinking about it too hard. I have to stop in town and ask for directions. I couldn't find Lake Imperium on any map. Lake Imperium? Well, I think that's Twin Pines in the distance. Yep. Welcome to Twin Pines. Home of Jason, right? <laughs> it's Crystal Lake. <laughs> okay. <laughs> we'll see. Okay. Yeah, this is a very retro looking game, but something tells me this is something that somebody did on their own time, so. And like I said, it's free, so let's see what the heck we can do here. Anything? No? It's kind of an odd. Is that, a, is that a guy or a girl? Can't really tell. So we got a pharmacy, a post office. Let's see, tab. Okay, tab. Fish, items. Yeah, it's lure. Fish, radio, now playing. Better turn that off, because knowing my luck, it's going to be copyrighted. Beds lure, all reliable. I assume that you can get more stuff if once you get cash. Okay, it just takes you back through it. Alright, I, like I said, I don't know what I'm doing here. Walking around this little town very stiffly, I might add. Can't turn his neck, her neck. Wait a minute, here we go. 
Mike's bait and stuff, huh? Okay, that's what we need. But this Mike guy could give me some directions to the lake. Alright. Ah, okay. Okay. That's a nice little establishment. Alright, let's see here. I get him taking this as Mike. Hmm, a new face. Judging by your gear, I'm guessing you're here for fishing season. I'm like the shopkeeper around here. Any quality fish you catch, I'll gladly buy. Also, if you're looking for tackle or a new rod, I'm your guy. Even if you just want to chat, I'll be here. I'll get some fresh gear in stock from time to time. You should definitely check back later. I'll bet you're eager to get started. Okay, you need directions to Lake Imperium. In that case, go back the way you came and head east for a few miles. You know you're almost there when you see a tunnel, okay? Anything else I need to say? Remember, the lake is just a few miles east by car, so that's all I've got to say. Just look out for the tunnel. Gotcha. Alright, I guess we exit here? Yeah. I don't have any money, so I can't buy anything. I don't know if I'm supposed to do anything else here, or just... This is just here to look impressive. I got a letter to mail! <laughs> I need headache pet medicine. You know, I don't know. That one's boarded up, so I guess we just get in the car. What should I do? Sleep? Drive to the lake. Okay. I'm in my... BW mini minibus or whatever they call them, micro. I f they call them microbus or minibuses. Hey, it's Opie. Okay, <laughs> there's the tunnel. I guess we need to go through here. All right? Oh, okay. Never mind. That was the tunnel we came through. Okay. It's been a while since I've gone fishing in a lake like this. I feel a little rusty. Maybe I should brush up on the fishing tips in my journal. Okay, how to fish. <laughs> Left mouse button when near the water to aim your rod. Different rods allow different distances. Okay. Release left mouse button and your lure will sink where you were aimed. Different lures will allow you to fish deeper. As your lure sinks, it will attract fish. Hold right mouse button to keep your lure at its current depth. When you have a fish, press left mouse button to reel it in. Be careful not to create too much tension. Okay. If you're having trouble with a fish, hold right mouse button to keep the line steady, but gain a bit of tension. If nothing else on your line, press R to quickly reel in. R for reeling in fast. Okay. See, that's still the same, so that didn't change anything. That just takes us to the main menu, and we can save. Alright, and that's fish if we have them. There's nothing more, as far as I can tell. Alright. This is called the Wretched Depths. Wow. That, uh, what does that say? I don't think that's English. I don't know kind of creepy, to be honest. Okay, we... I see fish. Well, this one might. A large, large bass, not bad. Okay, let me check my little. Oh, there's my little bass. Isn't he cute? 9.63 inches. A little small. I can't cast out that far, so I'm going to be getting small fish. No, 
I'm gonna let this sink a little bit more. Oh. Kinda shad. He looks a little sad. Oh, cute. <laughs> well, this kind of gave me the impression it might be a little scary in parts or something, but so far it seems to be a pretty standard fishing game. Just let it sink. There we go, we got another fish. See, that's the tension getting built up. Looks like we're getting some serious amounts of shad here. Let's see if we can get something else. There's another bass. There's a big fish. Look at that one. There we go. I think we got us another bass. A larger bass. Not bad. Yeah, there was some kind of odd looking fish over there. I don't know what that was. It was kind of an interesting looking one. You see him over there? He's... What the hell, what the hell is that? Yeah, I think I got another shad. Alright, let's see if we can't get something else. I wonder if this is the only place you can fish from. Yeah, there's that weird looking fish. What is that? That is a strange looking fish. I guess another bass. Is there a limit how many of them we can catch? So far, no. Okay, that's a different fish right there. Yep, we got something different this time. Bigger, too. We have to fight it. Uh-oh. What? Looks like my cooler is full. I'll have to let this one go. Oh, man. Really? Okay, well, shoot. Looks like it's nighttime, too. We're gonna have to take that back. Guess there's no. Let me take a look at what we got here. So we got three shads, one, two, three largemouth bass. This one's a good size one 15.60 inches. What should I do? Drive to town? It's nighttime, so I may have to sleep when I get there. I don't know. He's probably closed. No? Open 24 hours. Now that's a fishing place. <laughs> hey, kid, how's it going? What can I do for you? Well, let's sell some fish here. Let's see what you've got for me today. Three hundred fifty dollars? Not bad. Five hundred eighty-seven dollars. That's pretty daggone good. What can I do for you? Let's see. Well, let's see what they got by way of gear here. All right, let's see what I got in stock. We've got coming soon. We got Sharky. It's two hundred fifty dollars. Carbon rod, $750. Sea beast. So that's fair getting the big fish, I assume. Well, let's get a different lure here. We can do that much. Alright. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see what's... 
I've got some tips about good fishing spots. Maybe ask one of the local guys. You might see other fishermen around Lake Imperium from time to time. Okay. See ya. Okay. Not bad. Yeah, so far... I don't know, there is still an air of creepiness about this game. I don't know what it is. Well, we're gonna sleep. Let's wake up in the morning. Alright. Drive to the lake. Figured it made sense to not spend my time fishing at night. Start off first thing in the morning. This isn't a bad little game, honest to goodness. But let's go over to a different place. Looks like there's other spots to fish. This could be a good spot. Okay, we're going to try the first lure for see what that does, and then I wish I'd caught that big one because I have a feeling he would have been worth something. Okay, there's one like I had. Let's see what this one is. That's a good old trout. All right. Okay, there's a bass. Come on. Come. He isn't interested. See, I wish we could cast further. That's a... But I guess that's the point. You want to get more gear. That must have been what I had before. Well, I didn't get anything there that time. Let's move over here a little bit. Oh, what's that? That was a weird looking fish. Wait a minute. Our makes you stop. I wanted to go ahead and see about changing my lure this time. So I've got me a trout and I've got a largemouth bass. Let's switch lures this time. See if that tracks something else. Maybe something bigger. Yeah, there's that weird looking. Ooh, it goes deeper. That's cool. So we can attract something completely different, possibly. What is that strange looking thing swimming there? Let's go over here. <clears throat> okay. What is that? What the hell is that? Say what the heck is that thing? I don't know, that was weird. What's this 
this over here? Oh, it's a boat. Oh, there's a dude. Did, holy crap! What the hell? He just jumped in the water. What the deal? What's what in God's green earth is going on? Okay. Why did the, why did the dude jump in the water? Don't tell me to get to the other side. <laughs> is he swimming around down there? I mean. What are those weird looking look like octopi or something? What is that? Well we got a fish, nothing else. Yeah, that was kinda weird. What is up with that? Yeah, he's gone. I don't know where he went, but he is just freaky gone. Okay, what do we got here? We got something different. This one's a lot bigger. Ooh, don't, don't overdo it. Don't overdo it. Are you kidding me? Again? Well, that sucks. Hey man, is there a way to fast travel? I still don't understand why the dude jumped in the water. That is so weird. <laughs> I still don't know what the heck that is. Looks like a... is that a dead fish? I'm trying to hit it to see if it's if it is anything. I don't know what it is. That's weird. Okay. Yeah, there is some kind of thing going on here, guys. I don't know what, but guy just jumped in. All right, let's let's go to town and get some more stuff. Let's drive. Just got some new stock in. Let me know if you want to see something that catches your eye. Well, let's sell our fish for it. Wish I'd known what that big thing was that I pulled in. I need a bigger cooler is what I need. That's for sure. Well, let's see what you got gear wise. Okay, we don't have the angler. That's an expensive one. So that's supposed to be an angler fish. Carbon rod. We don't have enough for that. Sea beast. So I can't really afford anything. Shoot. Well. Back to it, I guess. Got guys jumping in the lake. <laughs> Things look a lot like angler fish in the water. That's why I kept thinking those look a little bit. I mean, this is a freshwater lake, so there shouldn't be angler fish. Oh, wait a minute. Let's see if there's anything on this side of stuff. Yeah, we 
definitely got more options when we started using this particular lure. No, this is the this is the one we were fishing from. I was just seeing if there's any other docks or anything that we could fish off of. Let's try. I'd like to get one of those big ones like I had, but lost. Well, look at those weird ones. Let's see if they I can attract one. Wait a minute. Ah, got him. We gotta find out. I wanna find out what this is. It looks like angelfish. Okay, he is not gonna make it easy for me. Ah, I'm almost there. We got him. This thing has three eyes and gets, it still took the bait. What the heck are they? T three eyes? Ew. A clairvoyant bass? <laughs> what the hell's a clairvoyant bass? Okay. What, 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 what? Oh, that was weird. All right, there's a some strange looking fish in this thing. We've got clairvoyant basses. What the heck is that? I guess. Oh, there's one of those ones that I was talking about earlier. They have a hole through the middle of them. Okay, well, he's about ready to get off the thing. Gross, is that bait wiggling in its wound? Is that bait wiggling in its wound? What the heck? Yeah, I guess so. It isn't. That's disgusting. I don't know what it is, though. And some of these are normal fish, some of these are weird fish. Another one with a hole in it. Okay, we got a trout here. Maybe we can attract the trout. Oh, another bass. Oh, they don't... That's... Pr Let me see if... Before I do any further, might be able to get one more in there. Maybe. Maybe. If it's small. night again. Yeah, I'm pretty sure we're... No, oh, there might be still room yet. Hold on. little 
trout. Good old trout. And I think that's about all we're going to be able to take. Yep. So let's head on back. It's night time again. I wonder if we're going to have any more visitors out here. I wonder if he's even going to take those weird fish with the wounds. get enough money I'd like to get a different rod. I haven't seen any larger fish holders yet so good to see you again catch anything out there what can I do for you so the fish anything for that looks a little strange to me uh. What can I do with them? Well, shoot, I don't know what to do with the ones that are in my So you don't want to keep those. I guess you just get rid of those. Yeah, I can't get rid of those. Clear me a bass. Well, I've got decent money. Let's see about buying some more gear. Let's get a carbon rod. Okay. Now, can I get rid of these fish? Oh, so you can range these things, too. Yeah, but can you get rid of them? Oh, that makes it so you can fit them in a little bit better. That's interesting. But can you get rid of them? I don't know how to get rid of them. Hey, hey you, over here, you can work trying to sell those fish to him, who's talking to me? So I can sell them to somebody. Now who do I sell them to? Okay, this is getting interesting now. Oh, here he is. Is this the guy? Unless you have some unique fish to sell. Jenkins. That guy Mike, he doesn't understand. Play his paper, that one. For me? I don't know. I see the value in something like this. What do you say we make a deal? Any freaky fish like this you come across, I'll gladly buy them off you. I'd like to see you find anyone else in town who would. <laughs> okay. 
You have them, right? Wow. Not bad. <laughs> so... Chat? Oh, excuse me. Sorry, guys. <laughs> I guess he's not into chatting. Now scram. Okay. So he's the guy who buys the creepy fish and the other guy buys the regular fish. Let's drive to the lake. Alright. Well, I tell you what, let's go ahead and sleep again. Wait a minute. Uh, maybe not. Never mind. Let's try, let's just take a stroll around the lake. Is there any other place we can go? Or is that the, is that it? No? Pretty much limited to that, so... Let's kind of take a look around here, because nighttime things get creepy. Anywhere in any game, so... See if anything gets creepy now. Okay, our friend is not back. Yeah, I just thought I'd take a hike around the lake and see if there's anything weird going on, but so far. Wait a minute, what's this? It's February 6th and I figured something out. It's all connected, everything. The corpses, the townspeople, that shadowy... It's all connected, but how? I know it is. I know it is. Alright guys, yeah, this is definitely not everything it seems. Without a doubt. And it is turning to morning here. I'm sorry about the language. <laughs> okay, we're going to use this one. And we'll see if we can't get any more distance with it. Oh, yeah. Yeah, this one can cast quite a bit farther. Look at that. See that weird one over there to... Well... Yeah, it may take a little rearranging of stuff to get it in there. What is that? There it is again. We got in that creepy one. Let me see if I can't get it out to that one. It was probably right around here. There he is. And there's two of them. But dang on. Trout's gonna go for it. <laughs> now that we know we can sell it to the other guy. What is that? I think on it. I want one of those big ugly looking things. <laughs> Come on, there's one headed right for it. Ah! 
Damn. Oh, for Christ's sake, it's a shed. Yep, there's one of those big, ugly ones. Let me recast that. Run out just a little farther. Yeah, I want to see what these things are. If I can get one to come over here. I was so close. Ah, another bass. thing here. I don't think we can rearrange it any better than it is right now. Well, like I said, this is getting interesting. It's getting interesting. I wonder what the heck's going to happen here. Well, let's go ahead and sell these. I think we're going to have to call this full. I don't know if we're going to continue doing it, but so I'm just going to be sure to call it an episode yet unless you want to see what continues to happen here, guys. Because I am curious. It's getting, it's, it's getting, it's a little bit creepy. So there is creepy, there's a creepy factor here. Now these are all normal fish, so I'm not gonna... Good to see you again. Catch anything out there? What can I do? Sell these fish? See if we can buy any gear. Nothing new in stock. We got the angler. We got the sea beast. That would definitely get us out to 35 feet. Yep, I'm buying it. I was just checking to see if he might have any more to offer. Dude over there is not interested in anything I've got to say at the moment, so let's drive to the lake. <clears throat> okay, let's switch this to the sea beast and see if we can't get us some distance now. anybody new. Okay, so, so far, minute, what's over here? Ah! Plot thickens. A graveyard. <laughs> Why not? Jenkins log, December 14. Here I thought things could get any weirder. There's some kind of ruins in the middle of nowhere. These ruins don't match any civilization or aren't, isn't even a record of ancient peoples living here. 
I'm gonna find a sample and see if I can date it. Why haven't there been any reports from anthropologists? Maybe they're being silenced. Am I next? I need to be careful. Oh wow, this is actually kind of cool. I like the fact that they're throwing in... Let's see, is there something here? Take some, a bucket and some medicine, okay. Yeah, I wonder if anything changes here at night. Yeah, sometimes things... See, I didn't realize we need to really do more exploration, so... this. Got boots in a bucket. What the heck? The bucket tipped over and the boots disappeared. What the heck is going on? This is getting creepy. Okay, here's more graveyard. Wow. Okay. See, I just thought it was all Oh shoot. What the heck was that? some creepy things. Another tape recorder. Jenkins log, December, January 25th. I'm sorry. People living here have no idea this is so much deeper than I thought. Something has caught onto my investigation. I see it always watching. It's not human. It always disappears before I can get a good look at it. A tall, shadowy figure with big red eyes. Nobody else sees it. They say it's all in my head. They treat me like I'm crazy. I'm not crazy. I know it's real. I know it's real. Oh, wow. Yeah, guys, this definitely fits right in with what I'm doing. I mean, we're talking fishing and horror survival. Fits right in. So am I going to start seeing a shadowy figure now? Is that the gist of things? Okay, we got a building over here. Oh, another tape recorder. Jenkins Log, November 2nd. Just arrived in Finn's yesterday after taking a look around. Something's definitely off. There are unnatural mutations in wildlife like nothing I've ever seen before. I need to keep digging. So this must have been the first. This is where he was staying. Wait a minute. Take a number fifth. Looking more into the history of this town, I found something interesting. There's been a string of disappearance. All of the victims were a bunch of drifters with no friends or family. People you would notice going missing. Whenever I bring it up to the townsfolk, I get distant stares. I'm not sure if they're all in on it or just blissfully unaware. I don't have enough information to determine that yet. Can I get up here? Oh. Off limits. So there are limited on where we can go. I haven't fully explored the town yet either, so it's entirely possible that there's something there of interest as well. Alright, we're back to the very beginning.
think we've seen all the tape recorders we're gonna see. I think we're... Okay, this is different. Not sure what that is. And there's the initial place that I found. Okay. There's something creepy about that, too. Oh no. I've already had something kick the bucket, literally. <laughs> Alright, nothing new so far, guys. Let's get back to the dock here. No diving. Of course, that guy just went diving, okay. This time we can throw it way out there. Ooh, got one. Yeah, I gotta see what this thing is. Got to see what this is. It's got hands. I'm not sure I want to high five him. Okay, let's see what he looks like. Yeah, that is a weird looking beastie. See if there's anything else in here. Here's some weird looking things that look like they had. Here, there's one. I don't know if you can see it in a distance, but it's way over there. Okay, what is that? Okay, that's new. He's got bumps on him. It's a little swollen. Is that a rash? <laughs> it's hard not to keep playing because this is this has got an actual story. It's really kind of interesting to, to see what you can get. Plus, each one of these things are different. There's another one of those big monster looking things. Bet I'll get a pretty penny for him. That weirdo guy. Might not get another one of those again. Uh, that shed is definitely interested. We got room. See, there, look at that weird thing. Yeah, let's get one more fish. Hopefully, it's a weird old fish. See, there's that one with the tentacles that I was talking about earlier. There's something really big down there. What is that? Holy crap, what is that? That's not what I was getting earlier. 
Yeah, there's those weird things with the tentacles. I wish it would come closer. I want to see what it is. And like I said, there's something really big. This one's going to grab it. What in God's green earth is that? What the heck is that? <sighs> oh, are you kidding me? I'll never find out. God bless it. Guess some of these fish are just too big. Well, I haven't seen any shadowy figure with glowing red eyes yet. I'll keep my keep the lookout here. Let's get in the car. I don't think there's anything here that I can sell, except maybe the shed. Okay, let's go to the weird dude. Before we do that, let's take a look around, see if we see anything in town here. Okay, here's the weird dude. Sell the fish. Scram. All right, fine. So, fish, we have one. Well, I got a thousand cash out of that. Let's see if he's got anything else I can buy. Well, I can get the angler. Still don't have... Let's see, there's one more thing that can come. I'm going to go ahead and buy that. Alright, guys. Well, i tell you what. I have... What is that? I survived the wet willy. <laughs> That's funny. <laughs> Alright, before we do leave, I think what I might do is take one more look around town, because there could be more of those tape recorders. Yep, there it is. I knew there might be. I need more samples. Fish. It's the fish. Fish, fish, it's always a fish. I know it's watching my research even more closely. It's not even trying to hide it anymore. Why hasn't it killed me? It knows I'm sleeping around, but it doesn't take me seriously. None of them do. Even that shadow thinks I'm crazy. When we're all drowning, who will be the crazy one? All of us will drown. We're doomed. What if that's... What if that's him? I mean, he seems... Like he's crazy enough to be the person. I mean, really? Don't you think? can't go any further than that, so that is it. We have checked out everything. I thought it was worth, worth a look. Nothing else? Wait a minute, let's see if the phone does anything. Nope. Alright guys, well, we have checked everything else out. We haven't found anything new. But, this is getting interesting. That, without a doubt, this is definitely getting interesting. Should be cool to see if this goes any further. If you guys want me to continue on and we can try to solve this mystery, I would love to do it. Anyway, guys, well, as I always say, aim straight, cast far, and have fun. I'll see you later.
拜拜。